we wanted to up our Christmas game this year, to say it is Christmas, whatever else is going on. We decided against an enchanted forest with festive penguins and a 20-foot Santa looming over the roof, we didn't want to overburden the local substation. We just got a minimalist tree. And we love it. We're having to leave the curtains open in the evening so we can see it and enjoy the 360 lights. God's display is a bit more extensive. In Isaiah 40, the prophet calls on his people to look out at night and see God, who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name. Which is an even more breathtaking idea now than it was 2,800 years ago. The latest guesstimate, using our sophisticated telescopes, is that there may be 100 billion stars in our galaxy alone. God knows what he's doing, the prophet says. The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. There's one particular thing about the God of the numberless bright stars that has resonated with people in times of trouble through the ages. He will not grow tired or weary, the prophet says. So, we can look out each night in hope. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. God of Advent, our light which never ends, be with us in our troubles and bring us to new hope through Christ, our Son of Righteousness. Amen. <laughs>